Hello again from the old city of Jerusalem. I'm on the head to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Well, yes, you're right. I took so many videos of the church. I think uh, it can, might be even more than 2,000 videos. But every time it's different. And now it's different because of the um, kind of excavation that replacing the floor of the church. Then in that case, uh, now it's around the tomb of Jesus. And uh, historically, I need to take a video of it. I think you will enjoy it as well. And meanwhile, I will talk about uh, the church. Anyhow, that you saw me. Now we can go straight to the video. Now we are at David Street, which is the main street from um, east to west. We are now walking from west to east. Behind us is Jaffa Gate. The sun is in our eyes there. Um, July and August, the good part of it is that there are not a lot of tourists. The bad part of it is the weather. It's hot and humid. Uh, it's 4 p.m. And uh, a city, and it's quite hot. As you can see, not a lot of tourists. But it's still hot. It's uh, 34 degrees, which is 93 or 94 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. I think it's a lot. To the church, you can go through the Christian Quarter Street. But I decided to continue a little bit through David Street. People actually always tell me it looks like that. Every shop Mama, looks the same. You're right. Basically, it is, it is true. But for example, this is specialized with t-shirts, so many kind of t-shirts, and uh, uh, that one you can see a lot of Armenian pottery. Then it looks the same, but not so same fabric. And I'm turning left, not here, let me take uh, another, another 100 meters, 300 feet. In most of the places you must, um, how should I say, all right. Most of places can, oh, look at, look at that, look at the spaces and the herb. Oh, the smell is amazing here. In most of the places you must bargain, mainly if you will go with me, uh, I'm usually taking to places that groups goes there, then they will give you a discount, you don't have to bargain, but you can buy everywhere. Most of them are really nice people. Then we will turn left at the Morris Town Street. Morris Town is a Persian word uh, that tells us that. Here, we used to have an hospital. At the Crusader time, the hospitalers and the, the Templars Knight had a center here. For example, you can see the Maltese cross, which is actually the uh, Crusader cross, um, mainly the Templars. And St. John was an hospital that was built here. Um, St. John, it was um, St. John the Baptist, who actually was a patron of the medical, in a way, the uh, health. And um, it was I Hospital. Why I Hospital in the middle of the city? I mean, there are so many uh, needs here. I Hospital is because of the Book of John. Remember, he cured um, a man who couldn't see, a blind man. 
at the Sinem Pool, which is another place to visit. Then in that case, um, to build here an eye hospital was a very good idea, at least biblically, because of biblical reasons. You can hear the Mosin. We're very close to the Muslim quarter, but even here in the Christian quarter, there are um, um, there are um, mosques. I know that some of you ask me, don't you take a video uh, at the time of the Muazin because it actually makes them a little bit anxious. But this is the life of Jerusalem. Then you know who I'm talking about, sorry, but this is part of the city. A beautiful Lutheran church from 1892. With an amazing view from uh, the top, but not easy to climb. There's no elevator, no lift, you have to do that by foot. Remember, we are here for um, the church, and then because it's a little bit noisy, I will wait for a few minutes, and then we will continue. We are now at the facade of the church. Um, it might be that a Catholic procession will begin soon, or maybe they are already finished. It all depends on what uh, kind of watch they are looking at, uh, Vatican or Israel. But, um, let me see. Oh, first of all, no heads. This is the place that Jesus was crucified, died, buried, and resurrected. Um, if you watch my videos, you can see that something weird happened there. And we will talk about it soon. But first, let's do the tour as we supposed to do. Let's start from the crucifixion place. The church belongs to the Catholic, Orthodox and Armenian churches. In that case, it's a little bit different than your churches. First of all, when you enter the church, you saw that it looks different. I saw the Franciscus monk entering and soon they will close the Golgotha because we're going to have to do the ceremony around it. And then let's climb up first to see the crucifixion place. The crucifixion place, the Golgotha, the Calvary, is above. I mean, you saw it in so many art, a Christian art, of uh, the crucifixion. But the Bible never mentioned that it was on top of the Golgotha. Just mentioned the hill of the Golgotha and the Golgotha, the Calvary. Uh, we, don't, we don't have any um, um, source, other source by the Bible about that name or that place. But Golgotha, it might be because the, if that the place that they used to crucify people, then I'm sure that you could see a lot of skulls there. And if not, maybe it wasn't the shape of the Golgotha. Another important thing is, that uh, we have two options of the tomb of Jesus. This is the main one. 90% of the Christians believe in it. The second one is at the garden tomb. Garden tomb. And uh, I would be more than happy if you will subscribe to my channel and enter to the video of the garden tomb in my channel. Um, part of the family. The minute you are subscribing, uh, you can ask me whatever you want. I can try to help you with so many add, uh, other information. We have a right. Some of it. Um, Alright, then let's, let's, let's continue. I have a problem with the camera. And we are in the Catholic area. 
other side belongs to the Greek Orthodox. In the Catholic area, you can see some of the Via Dolorosa stations. That is the way that Jesus walked with his cross from the, cruci from the Jordan place by Pontus Pilate to the crucifixion place. And we are at the Golgotha, at the Calvary, at the crucifixion place. And totally different art. <coughs> we talked about my name. My name is Isaac. That's like Abraham and Isaac. Um, Gabriel stopped Isaac uh, from Abraham from doing it, and here I am still alive and kicking. But Jesus came to complete that mission. And if you look at the mosaic wall, you can see so many figures from the Bible, from Adam and Eve to Jesus. All of it is new. It's from 1808 and up. At 1808, that place being destroyed, actually set on fire by a Christian mistake, not by the enemies of the Christians. And later on, they renovated it. The only thing that left for us from here, I think from the crusader time, is Jesus, the ascension of Jesus, which is beautiful, it's not connected to our story. Maybe the um, Christian wanted us to know what will happen soon after the resurrection. Then, if we're talking about some of the stations, this is the Frank station, and that's why they strip you from its clothes. It's usually closed mainly because it's very difficult to climb and it's not really safe. Uh, I've been there only twice in my lifetime, but that used to be one of the entrances. This is a door, and that door is blocked now. Actually, not only now, from 19, uh, from the 13th century by Saladin. Then, um, the entrance that you saw me entering was the only entrance to the, um, to the church. And this is the only entrance that actually left. We have, before that, we had few entrances. Here, you can see a beautiful um, mosaic wall. Look at the small stones and the colors. And this is the mailing to the cross of Jesus. Above him, you can see Mary, the mother, next to him. Anointing his legs, his legs, is Mary Magdalene. And right here, you can see the women and St. John, the disciple. You can see that we are outside the city. Why to crucify people outside the city or outside the gate in that case? Because this was the best media. This is the CNN, the Sky News, the Fox News, um, uh, and any other news channel. People enter and went out of the city. They could see what not to do. And if we're talking about what not to do, look at above Jesus. You can see a sin list. Jesus from Nazareth, King of the Jews. Then every mother entered to the city and told her son, if you will say that you are the King of the Jews, the Romans will crucify you. Because the Romans already crowned Herod's family as the the kings of Israel at the time of Jesus. Before we will talk about that beautiful statue, let's continue with this story. And uh, um, the monk there is not so nice to me from time to time, or maybe I'm nice to him. Then I will talk about it here, and then I will try to make a run tour. Why well, it's not nice to me? Because um, I'm talking. I'm not here to pray. I'm here to explain. But he didn't understand that explain you is explaining more than 1,000 people who are watching those videos and understand the story of following Jesus' footsteps through my eyes. Then, but I can understand. Here, you can see the Golgotha, the backdrop. And beneath the chair is the exact spot of the crucifixion. And to the left of Jesus, the mother, to the right, John, the disciple, and when Jesus was um, on the cross, he asked John to take care of his mother. Then, let me just go there.
myself, and I'm doing it for you. shekels and light it right here on top of the Golgotha next to the crucifixion of Jesus. Now, we talked about how empty it is. You can see it by yourself now. Totally empty. Here you can see beautiful uh, paintings and icons about the last week of Jesus. Let's go to see the second part, the third part, which we didn't talk about it because we are following the order now. And this is Mary with a spear in her, in her heart that symbolizes the Pieta. It is sadness of the mother. Why is the spear in her heart? When and when Mary came for the presentation, actually the Holy Family came for the presentation, the um, Saint Simon, the priest from the temple, told her that her son will die in front of her eyes. It will be like a spear entering to your eyes, to your heart. And that's why you can see it. From that moment, Mary never smiled. If you see a painting or an icon of Mary smiling, it means that um, she is, um, um, she just got birth, I mean, uh, Jesus was born, it's before she entered to the temple. Then let's leave the Golgotha, and there are a million things to talk about it, but we are heading to the tomb before the Catholic procession, I don't know what's the time now, then. I don't know if it's already been or not. Then what we did, we did that. We saw the crucifixion place. Um, figures. All right, not the models. The one with the beard, the white beard. Joseph of Ramitiel gave Jesus his own tomb. The Pieta, Mary holding the dead body of the son. And John the disciple. John will always will be without a beard. The women. But most important one is Mary Magdalene. And you can see the skull, and that it's outside the city, outside the wall. After that, like the Jewish uh, way, they purify the body of Jesus and they bury him at the same day. This is what's happening today in Israel as well. Then they put a shroud around him and bury him without a casket, without a coffin, in the tomb of uh, Joseph of Ramakia that no one used before. And if you will be able to enter to one place after the visiting the uh, liberator, new liberator of, uh, of, uh, of uh, the tomb, uh, I will try to enter to another place to show it. Then, Joseph of Ramitia, Nagdimino, John the disciple, mother, Mary Magdalene and the rest of the women, women power. According to what we believe, this is the anointing stone. This is where the naked body of Jesus touched. And I'm doing it for you, and I'm blessing everyone who are watching that video, and I only ask you to send that video to everyone who believes in Jesus. Ah, oh, it smell is amazing. And it belongs to the churches that are holding that church. This is the tomb. It's a rock cut cave, but it's been destroyed so many times that you won't see anything from that anymore. But if it will be open, I will let you in to another rock cut cave next to it. And I will explain to you what's happening. That Nakedinos, John, Joseph of Ramitia, the mother, and the women around. We remind you that on Sunday, 
Mary Magdalene came and uh, um, so that Jesus actually wasn't. She realized that Jesus is not in the tomb and and uh, she met him. Here, I don't know if you can see a bit, but they are already excavating here. They took the floor out. This is the Armenian chapel. That is where um, the women saw the crucifixion. We will reach the tomb through it. Then here they still didn't renovate the floor. It will be as I believe the next. <laughs> Difficult to see. They are hiding it from me, and you know that I need to know everything. Then here you see a floor, then in that part, they already did it. The entrance is from there, but I think they already stopped uh, working, at least at that hour. And what you see here is the tomb itself. itself. It's a new structure, mainly because of 1808 when that church had been destroyed, everything was burned down and the stone collapsed and destroyed um, the church itself. A few years ago, they renovated it too because they built it too quickly. And you know, when you're building something too quick, it's not the safest place. And, and just before it collapsed, they uh, worked something like two years to see what's happening here. And they opened the tomb. And the tomb was closed. And the tomb wasn't, I mean, it was empty. Now, through the Egyptian part of the church, we will continue to see the tomb. Now, this is not a line. I mean, this is the line for the tomb. But this is nothing. This is, that can, will take them only 10, 15 minutes to enter, unless the procession will begin, which might be. Then we can see the tomb from here too. And the procession is still not on, or maybe it's already been, mainly because they didn't block the that place and let's, let's go to see it you might see a little bit the tomb from the inside i mean from outside this is the facade of the church and you can see the light the candle light this is where the angel took care that no one will steal the body of jesus The inner part is the sarcophagus itself. Now, the table that the, the candle is on is where the, I mean, it, you can see there um, glass, and inside the glass, it's the place that, um, it's the place, uh, oh, part of the rolling stone that is missing here. Remember, that cave been destroyed so many times. And uh, soon I will show you that there is there is um, a tomb from the time of Jesus in that church, and it still exists. Why I'm not standing in the line? 
because I cannot take a picture, I, take, I cannot take a video, I even pictures there, not only me, no one can do that. It only tonight when I will reach my house. Oh, well, let me do that. Let me uh, try to do it again, but this time with a different lens that you might see a little bit more. Are you ready for that? But I need that guy to go because he can tell me not to do that. And let's face it, I know that I'm doing something bad because uh, they don't want me to see, they don't want, want us to see it yet. But I must know, then let me go and I will see yeah, what we can see from there. Meanwhile, until you will go, oh, wow, you can see here the um, Katilkond, the Greek Orthodox, Greek Orthodox uh, Cathedral, and uh, they're doing something with their uh, huge number that uh, I don't know where it is. Let me see if it's here somewhere. I think they are really uh, maintaining it. Wow, this view for me. I'm so happy that I came today to see it. It's something like that, but huge and symbolize um, Jerusalem in heaven. Then Jerusalem today is not in heaven. I don't know where it is. But it's beautiful, and uh, if you look at uh, my uh, uh, previous uh, videos, you, you might see it. All right, then let me see if we can see something again. Or something, but I hope that you will see that they're excavating um, the floor. It's not only renovating the floor, they're excavating to see what is beneath. They will publish it, sorry, but I need to know now. Mm, it looks like that. You see that? It's ringing the bell at the Catholic part. Then, as you believe, they will start them ceremony now. Can you, you might hear the organ. And this is the way to the best rooms. Before we will enter the tomb, they just opened the prison of Jesus. Then uh, they've been excavated here as well. And let me see if we can actually be able to reach it. You can hear the bells now. Let's listen to it. renovating the floor here because that place belongs to the people that's below. believes that it's their place that lots of public problems but you can see here the op one of the options of prison of the jail of Jesus to see where the legs used to be hand. Why prison here? The Bible never mentioned that there was a prison next to the Golgotha. But think about you. You, know, you do have a court and a set and you need to pay. It takes time until you are paid in or until they are crucified. Remember the restrooms are here. That one is 
from 4th century from St. Ellen Church. No, there's no ceremony. The ceremony was there and it's 5 o'clock. In that case, it's 5 o'clock. But look how beautiful it is with the light on. So impressive. So impressive. Now we are entering a room that doesn't look uh, like it owns by the most important church in the world, but it is. Um, people are still fighting. Who owns that place? Is it a uh, church of Syria? Is it um, Armenian? Is it a Coptic one? Then still there are a lot of, lot of debates. Then before people will enter there, and before I will talk about this amazing wall from the 4th century, the beginning of the church, uh, because there are no people here, let's enter to the tomb from the time of Jesus. Wait a minute. Flashlight, yes. sit here because no one is next to me. Um, you can see here a rock cut cave with few niches. Sadly that wall from the 4th century destroyed part of it. You can see a niche there, here, here and there are two. Two of them are sealed. Actually that one as well. Only two are open and there's another, another place here which is used as a storeroom. Then, let's talk about it. When a Jew dies, he is buried at the same day, they purified his body, a man, um, a poor man, is uh, buried on the floor, everywhere, um, outside the gate. Um, a rich man, they could build themselves a rock cat cave for the family. Then here we have one, two, three, four, five, six niches. I believe that there was ten. There were ten. Then they will bury the people after they purified him uh, with a shroud on, without a casket, without a coffin, just like that. The only thing that is missing here are the two places to seal it. And if we go backward, not easy. You can see that another thing is missing here: the Rolling Stone. If there were 10 niches, what will happen to the 11 body? There's no space for him. Very easy. They will take the bones out of the aging tomb. They will put the bones in a small box by the name Osiri, and they will, be, will put it in the storeroom. In a way, it could be there. Then, in that case, why they didn't destroy that? Why the enemies of, of, of Jesus didn't destroy that? But they destroyed his tomb. They destroyed his tomb because that Jesus tomb was important and that tomb that no one actually know who was here, were, was, they weren't all important. But it actually tells us that he, that used to be a cemetery in the time of Jesus. Now, if that place used to be owned by Joseph of Ramitia and that was his garden, I'm sure that he gave... Um, and he gave the tomb for Jesus. I'm sure that he built himself another tomb next to it. And I believe that that might be the tomb of Joseph of Ramitia and Nagdeminus, but I don't know. Um, but it's an option. Now that beautiful wall from the fourth century was covered with marble and good stones. You can see the holes here that held the marble, but there, you can see a lot of, of, of uh, holes. Then I believe that it was uh, for marble and good stones. Because we know that it was like that. Uh, Ikaria and so, so many other pilgrims who came to that church at the 4th and the 5th century mentioned it. Now, because no one knows who owns it, 
Look at how they maintain it. Look at all the graffiti here, and if you see, can see your name. I'm not so happy with it. I'm not so happy with it. This is for me a pollution in the earliest place for Christians. True, isn't it? This is a good friend of mine who lives in the city of Harish, which is a new city in Israel. <laughs> yeah, we actually, I took a video of what's happening here from the other side. I don't know if you could see something, but it's usually one meter or two meters beneath it. And I'm sure that you will be able to see more. That is where I'm lighting candles uh, at the Armenian Chapel. But it used to be there now because of the, um, I don't know how to call it, uh, uh, the archaeological finds, yeah, dig here, and replacing of the floor. Um, it's a. Uh, it's di look different. And I wanted you to see it. Now, we already know what it is, because we've been there. But let's continue to see a few more things. Ah, now we know that the Catholic procession will be, because we can see that the entrance to the Golgotha is already closed. And if you remember, we did it earlier, because I thought it's going to be like that. Then they might kick me out soon, but it's okay. Ah, they're already there. Then, in that case, I cannot continue from here because the procession will be from there and they're going to climb up to the altar. It's uh, really beautiful and he is really mad at her because she's naked compared to what we can, uh, uh, we can do. If you're entering to a church, especially here, I don't know about America and, uh, and the rest, cover your shoulders, cover your knees, um, about shoes. From time to time, getting um, messages. Please don't enter with shoes into churches. Here, it's allowed, and I can understand you. Hello again. I can understand you, but it's allowed here. Then you can choose to walk without shoes or to walk with the shoes on. It's totally allowed. Then I'm going to die. Catholic bar to see the procession already started and uh, maybe we can actually see a little bit of it for you even though that some of you are not Catholic yeah, the procession is right here Better place, but to the right, you can see Jacob, which most of you know. Then we make a round tour around the church. Uh, usually, Jacob is the last one, and this is the place that Mary 
Magdalene saw Jesus after the resurrection. If you reach that place, it means that you are a believer or you really like history and Christianity. Then please, first of all, subscribe to my channel. Secondly, try to support that channel because I'm doing my best to give you everything that I can, but it's instead of working. You can uh, enter to the pay my PayPal, or you can do that through uh, Buy Me A Coffee. Those two links are inside the description. Um, beneath their video and you can always ask me for the link and I will give it to you and there's a super thanks uh, you see that down there when you actually put the like next to it it's look like a heart with a dollar sign in it through there you can do that too thank you very much for being with me in those almost 40 minutes bye bye